That morning before I set out, I was super nervous. When I was planning for this trip, I didn't realize I'd be the youngest woman to fly solo around the world. It was one of those, oh wow, okay, it's happening, I'm doing this moment. I'm really lucky, both my parents are pilots, so I grew up around aviation and airplanes. Started flying when I was eight years old, and then I started training when I was 15 years old. The first time I took control of an airplane, I think I just felt this overwhelming sense of freedom. As a young girl, I never saw other women in aviation. I think as I grew up and went on these adventures with my parents, we'd go through Canada, Greenland, Iceland, and the UK. I thought, I kind of want to go on my own adventure now. My big dream is to fly around the world, but I just always assumed it'd be impossible. Microsoft Flight Simulator helped me prepare for my flights where I could just see what the terrain and what the route would be like. It was pretty similar, it was really realistic. When I started flying, I just felt this sense of excitement and happiness of finally leaving. I was a little bit nervous, but mostly excited. My biggest obstacle to fly around the world really varied. In California, it was wildfires, Siberia is maybe turbulence, places like Southeast Asia near the equator, it was thunderstorms. I flew from Nome to Anadir across the Pacific. My challenges changed the whole way through. It was never the same. Every time there was something new to learn. When I finally landed back in Belgium, it felt very surreal because I'd spent months getting there. And so finally finishing was really weird, but amazing. <laughs> the thing that helped me stay motivated was the messages I received on social media and people saying that I'd encourage them to start flying, or just do their, go on their own crazy adventure. I think that's when I realized that my trip did have a positive impact on some people and that if I kept going, then hopefully I could reach a few more. My name is Zara Rutherford and I fly to see the world. <laughs>